guys, welcome to another video. Uh, there hasn't been one for a while. That's because I think I told you in my last video that, um, yeah, I was having lots of tests and everything. And now, uh, before I start this review of a simply stunning locomotive, um, if you do hear any big bangs, that is fireworks. And yes, it is about 5.30 in the evening. Uh, and people think it's funny to let off fireworks quite while well, it's still daytime and about a few weeks after Guy Fawkes which is a bit stupid so anyway that is uh, there were some yesterday I'm not sure if there's any today but anyway so this beauty this is a Barkman locomotive this is my only Barkman locomotive as of yet I hope there was more because Barkman is simply amazing now it is, if you've read the title, a 45XX Prairie Tank. This is 4557 in BR line black with early emblem. Now typical of Buckman, they haven't put the actual locomotive in the actual livery on the box. But what is sad about this is this actual locomotive numbered 4557 is not preserved. Um, only three survive, um, which is a bit sad. They were originally from the Great Western Railway, um, and 75 were built, which is quite a quite a number. And they did last into BR period. Um, so yeah, so this is a Buckman Branch Line typical old old style box. Uh, I li I like these boxes. I think they're quite good. Um, so let's get this beauty out. Now, um, that that is a lovely picture. That is um, one of the remaining trio. That is four triple five. Um, aw currently awaiting overhaul at the Dartmouth Steam Railway. So that's interesting and. Typical of this packaging is the information on the back. Now I won't read it to you, but you, the camera probably won't focus. You stupid thing. Um, but if you have a 45XX in this style of box, you will know what this all says. So uh, I'll leave that. Now in in this or under this, there would be um, some instructions. Now I have because the instructions kept breaking the box so I've taken them out and I've stapled them all together now um, what you get is you get the consumer guarantee and um, it also has this how to care for your locomotive uh, with DCC and everything it's the parts list which is actually quite interesting if you read it um, got DCC now this is one of the earlier Buckman models that didn't come DCC ready so it's a soldering job and that just tells you how to do it. You can probably read that if you want to pause it and have a look. It's quite interesting. I'm not sure if I'm going to DCC this. Depends. Then you get the normal collector's club gump. So that is the instructions. Right. The locomotive itself. Now there is usually couplings fitted to it but for purposes of this video I have removed them. Uh, normal Buckman tension lock, small tension lock couplings, and they are NEM. Yes, NEM. NEM are the best. So, now I have done this my way, and I have um, wrapped this in sort of a poly bag sort of thing. Um, it's just a plastic bag, and there's still the little polystyrene at the bottom. But I, I just prefer to do this because as this is one of my most detailed models I do not want it to get wrecked at all so there we go and what I'm going to go and do now is just go get a bit of track um, bit of old track that I've got and then I'll set up the camera to do this in detail so see you in a minute guys 
Right, so, here she is, the beauty herself. So, as you can see, she is in lined BR black, early emblem. Um, four, four, I mean, 4557. Uh, she might be a bit dusty, I suppose. She hasn't been run for a little bit. Uh, oops. Um, this is a beautifully detailed model. There's all the um, the boiler detail, the domes, the funnel. It's it's absolutely incredible what Buckman have done with this. Um, and you know, if I do plan on weathering it, it oh, drop dead gorgeous. So I can picture it in my head. Um, so yep, got the NEM socket in there, and the lovely. Uh, boiler uh, uh, lining and um, uh, handrails. Um, so we've got the linkage, which is fabulous when it runs. It looks great. Um, it's got sprung buffers on all ends. Yep. Um, and it and it, it's got a two six two wheel configuration which is um, sometimes actually because these the pony truck and the um, and yeah the pony trucks are a bit hard to get on the track so can be a little fiddly at times but yes um, now this model unfortunately hasn't got its front uh, its cab steps there but I have got them they I just need to buy some super glue to um, just tack them on there. I've tried many times with all sorts of methods but it just won't work. Um, so yeah and there all, and there is also some some beautiful detail. It's pretty much the same around here. Um, just the, the livery application from Buckman is incredible. It always is. Um, but you know it's... Oh, if, I'm not. I don't think Buckman still make this particular engine itself, the number. But I think they are planning on releasing a new BR Black version. Um, so if I could get that, probably not. But to double head with this, and that would look fabulous. Um, so yeah, it's just an ace model, guys. You know, I can't describe how incredible it is, and it's. On the models, which when you look at it, it just, just leaves you speechless, really. You know, it's just, yeah, it's really, really good. And you, you if you haven't got one already, you need to go get one. Uh, you know, it's, it's very good. Very, very good. So I'll just let the camera or the locomotive speak for itself. It's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, coal load very nice mm, from distance probably looks a bit fake but if you can see in there the cab detail it's quite incredible really <laughs> uh, you can't see much you can see the odd you know lever or handle or you know but uh, got the uh, lamp hooks on, on the back of the um, the coal bunker and yeah oh, god I just can't wait to show you this running um, it is quite smooth. Um, it could be smoother, but my track isn't the cleanest. Uh, that's something I've got to do, actually. So, yeah. Um. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, so, this was built... The actual 14557 was built in 1924. Um, part of the second batch. So, uh, th there was a batch of... 55 and then there was the another batch of 20 built in 1924 um, yeah it's designed by Churchwood uh, so that's cool and yeah well let's get it running right so here we are at the layout um, yes it is a bit of a mess I know there probably won't be a layout update this month as not much has been done because of school. So anyway, back to the 45XX. Well, uh, it is a bit... Oh, I know what I've done. Hang on. I've forgotten to put the coupler in. <laughs> right. Damn it. 
All right, so we'll turn this over and we'll slide that into the pocket. Easy as that. So yeah, we'll give her a uh, just a few laps by herself, um, and then we will look at that. It's just beautiful. I'll give her a couple more and then we'll hook her onto this rake of incredibly unrealistic coaches. Um, so, yes. See, we'll do a slow speed. She's a tiny bit jerky, but... Right. Stop her there. And put the camera down. Change that point. Change direction. Make sure she's hooked up. Ah, what's happened? Ah, here we go. Right, she's coupled. She's a very strong puller too. I tested her up at the club. She can haul about seven or eight coaches. Very good. All in all, guys, this is a beautiful locomotive. I thoroughly recommend getting one. I've had mine for coming up for two years in a couple of weeks, so. Yeah, so we got Railex in three days, yes. So that is absolutely great. Um, while that's running around, I have to show you something. Uh, the whole TMD idea, it is going ahead. Look, it's got a Pico point, which I completely agree with you guys now, is absolutely incredible. They're just so much superior to these Hornby excuse my bad language, but these Hornby pieces of crap. Um, yeah, so that pretty much rounds off the review for the Bachman 45XX. Feel free to check out my other reviews. As I say, more coming, hopefully a bit more regularly. I will do a video, of a short video of what I got at Railex, which will probably be included um, soon. So, yeah, so new videos to come up soon, guys. So, uh, we we'll do a run past of the prairie. Come on, yeah. It's just beautiful. Oh, mm. I, I, yeah, it's just beautiful. So, um, right, we'll stop it. And I'll uh, round off this review. So yeah, that is the Bachman 45XX. Beautiful, beautiful locomotive. Totally worth getting. Mine cost about 70 New Zealand dollars, which is about 35 pounds. Second hand, absolutely mint condition can buy it new, buy it new. Oh. So yeah, there's one of those moments you just left speechless. Um, so that rounds off the review guys. So uh, you know, keep up to date with the channel. More subscribers, more views. We've gone over 1,150 um, views on the total channel and we're at 62 subscribers. Uh, I want at least 80 by the end of December and then we'll have to think about a Christmas special which is quite a come around quite quickly so yeah that is the um, the end of the review so thanks for watching guys you know 
like, comment and subscribe. See you later.